With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, question is 2.75 gram of cupric oxide was reduced by heating in a current of hydrogen and the weight of copper that remained was 2.196 grams. Another experiment. 2.358 gram of copper was dissolved in nitric acid and the resulting copper nitrate converted into cupric oxide by ignition. The weight of cupric oxide formed was 2.952 grams. Show that these results illustrate the law of constant composition. So in this question we are given that 2.75 gram of cupric oxide that was reduced by heating in presence of current of hydrogen. So the weight of copper that was formed that remained was 2.196 gram and in another experiment 2.358 gram of copper was dissolved in nitric acid and the resulting copper nitrate then when it was ignited the copper oxide was formed. So weight of copper oxide that was formed was 2.952 gram. So we have to illustrate the law of constant composition. So first of all what is law of constant composition? So law of constant composition or proportion, it says that the chemical compounds chemical compounds are made up of elements they are, and these elements are present in which are present in fixed ratios by mass. It means the ratio of the elements, simple ratios of the elements that form the chemical compound, they remain fixed. So first we are given is 2.75 gram of copper oxide was taken. It was reduced by heating in current of hydrogen and copper was obtained that is 2.196. It means copper oxide. So it will give copper and oxygen gas. So if we balance this, it will be half O2. Now copper oxide weight was 2.75 gram initially and copper obtained was 2.196 grams. So we can calculate the weight of oxygen that is formed. So weight of oxygen, it will be weight of copper oxide, cupric oxide. This is cupric oxide because copper is present in plus 2 form and oxygen into minus, minus 2. So it formed cupric oxide. So weight of oxygen formed will be weight of cupric oxide minus weight of copper that was formed from this. So it will be 2.75 grams minus 2.196 gram. That will be 0.554 grams. So by this method the amount of oxygen that is formed is 0.554 grams. Now in another method when copper was dissolved in nitric acid copper that was dissolved in nitric acid so it forms the copper nitrate it will form copper nitrate and from copper nitrate the copper oxide was formed that is cupric oxide was formed and the weight of copper that was taken initially is 2.95 its weight is 2.358 grams taken and copper oxide, cupric oxide that was formed is 2.952 grams. Now to illustrate the law of constant composition, the weight of oxygen that is obtained in this method is 0.554 grams. It means the percentage composition or weight of the oxygen present in cupric oxide that is obtained by this method will also be will that also should be same. So if we calculate the weight of oxygen from this method, so that will be, so weight of oxygen will be the weight of cupric oxide that was formed that is 2.952 grams minus weight of copper that is 
358 grams that will be equals to 0.554 grams it means the percentage composition or the ratio is fixed of the oxygen that is present in the cupric oxide irrespective of the method by which it has been formed so this is the law of constant composition that chemical compounds are made up of elements that are present in fixed ratio by mass and this ratio is not does not change that it will not depend on the method of the formation of the compound the elements that are present they will they will present in the fixed ratio by mass so this is the ratio this weight of oxygen that is formed is same so it illustrates it i hope you understood it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today